Jonathan Grenard, the Houston Texans must bring him back? I answer that question next. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. Let's get into it, guys. Jonathan Grenard is one of the biggest names that the Houston Texans, if not the biggest name, excuse me, that the Houston Texans have to re-sign this offseason. Do they have to? I'll answer that in just a minute. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Again, I appreciate every single one of y'all that is liked, commented, subscribed. While you're at it, go ahead and smash that like button. Easiest smash of your life. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know how are you feeling about Jonathan Bernard and a potential reunion between himself and the Houston Texans. First off, my gut reaction is the Texans have to bring him back, right? That's my gut reaction. That's what I want to believe is the Houston Texans will bring back Jonathan Grenard. But at some point, I do look at the price tag. And when I look at the price tag on spot rack, his market value is at a 13.5 million value. I think it's 13.4 to be exact. And Jonathan Grenard definitely played extremely well for you last year. He still missed some time, and he's missed time in previous years. So injury history definitely has to be a conversation needed to be had between the Houston Texans, D'Amico Ryans, Nick Casario, and Jonathan Grenard. We all know this as fans. We could all agree to that. Jonathan Grenard also had a fantastic year this year, as well as just a few years ago, getting shy of double-digit sacks underneath Lovey Smith's first year as defensive coordinator. Jonathan Bernard did splash onto the field, which was once a guy that Bill O'Brien did not want, it felt like, going all the way back into the NFL draft of whatever year it was. It feels like forever ago that happened. But Jonathan Bernard is very valuable to this Houston Texans team, not only as a pass rusher, but an edge-setting run defender. And that is something that contributed to D'Amico Ryans having a top five rushing defense in the NFL. Not only was it Will Anderson doing his thing, but it was also Jonathan Grenard parlaying in it as well as the interior defensive line that was vastly improved from the years prior. Now it could be improved again, but do you risk improving it and losing Jonathan Grenard? Now that I have no problem with. I have no problem in improving the defensive line elsewhere. And maybe we play this game of which side is heavier. Is it Jonathan Grenard in re-signing him to a value of, let's say, 15, between 15 to 20 million dollars? Or is it re-signing, actually not re-signing, signing an interior defensive lineman than the likes of a Justin Matabuike, who I would pay extra money for because why not? He's absolutely the biggest free agent, I would say, defensively in the NFL this year. And the Ravens maybe not bringing him back would be a huge mistake, but it could happen. And the Houston Texans with the Miko Ryans and company would absolutely feast having an interior presence like Justin Matawike, who definitely deserves the money he's going to get paid. He hasn't been injured. Matawike would make a 100,000% chance to sign here with the Houston Texans, and you would still have some money left over. Does that now go towards Matawike instead of Jonathan Bernard? That is the biggest question. I have no problem with either or as long as the Houston Texans replace the sack production and player production some way, somehow, whether it's grabbing a top guy like Matt Wike, maybe a Chris Jones, maybe a Grover Stewart, or double dipping into the edge market and getting maybe two guys that can do what Jonathan Grenard did, but in their own different way. Derek Barnett could definitely be one of them. Who could be the other? Who knows? But the Houston Texans, do they have to bring back Grenard? Maybe not, but they better definitely set their sights on somebody in the defensive line this free agency.
As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day. There we go. There we go. Dancing to no song. Still dancing to no song. I'm recording. There we go. That's a blooper. Cut that.